Hi, it's Andy. So we're going to have a look at today's tip of today, which is workspaces. And in particular, I'm looking in InDesign here, but this works pretty similar across Photoshop and Illustrator as well and the other Adobe CC apps. Um, so workspaces, really what they allow you to do is record the position of things in terms of your panels and your, and your workspace layout on here. You can open up a variety of panels. Um, as you're probably aware, there's many, many different panels in here. So if I just open up one or two examples, we'll go in here and we'll pull up um, something like the attributes panel, bring it over here and just drop it in here. And I may want to do some more. So we'll go down here, we'll open cross references. That gives us a number of different panels. I can drop that in there. And I'll maybe go back over here and we'll do one more. We'll open up something like object styles, which with object styles, I might decide I'm using that a lot in this project. So I'm going to stick it on the side just here. When I've positioned these how I want, what I can do is ensure I've got a workspace that I can return to by going down here in the drop down to new workspace or from the window menu across the workspace there. In both cases, they bring up the same dialog box. So in this case, the dialog box to create a new workspace. And I'm going to go into here and we're going to call it uh, video recording since that's what we're doing right now. And I want it to remember the panel locations. Now you can also remember menu customization, which we're not getting into here. We're just focused on the panel positions. So I'll record the panel locations and click OK. And you'll notice at the top there, it's now switched to a mode called video recording with the panel locations um, recorded as they are right now. What this means is over the course of the day, as I move things around the screen and things maybe get messed up a little bit and you drag this off and you, you maybe kind of have it hanging over the top there and it's blocking other stuff out and a couple of these have maybe been closed because you've not been using them or you've used them and then click the cross by accident. And it, it gets a bit messed up. And you can spend a few minutes kind of reopening those panels from the window menu and repositioning them and docking them and putting them where you want. Or what you can do is do it the quick way and just go up here to your drop down and reset your workspace. And it just puts all the panels exactly where you had them. So it's a nice quick way of just resetting that. And what a lot of people will do is they might have multiple workspaces. They might have a workspace that they use specifically for interactive documents, another one they may be used for more the pre-flighting for print kind of process, etc. Now, Adobe does ship this with a number of presets in here. So you've got advanced there right down to touch. Um, personally, I tend to start with a, a variation of the kind of essentials classic one, but some people prefer others. But I think I would recommend most people to create their own, um, particularly once you've got used to InDesign, you know which panels you like to use regularly, create your own and save it as a workspace that you can use in there. Hopefully you found that useful.